Everybody's starving, mother, mother. Hold your horses, got a million courses, and I'm thinking... 903 on your Tuesday morning. Thank you for joining us on Breakfast Television. You invite Dave Kelly to a Christmas party, and chances are he's going to show up with Leslie Stowe's crackers because he raves about them all the time. Leslie Stowe, of course, of the famous Rain Coast crackers. They are fabulous, Leslie, and the demand this time of year must be huge for it them. It is huge, but it's one part of the whole entertaining evening. And what we're doing here is some uh, amazing hors d'oeuvres because people are going to lots of parties. So I think that cocktail party is the thing for entertaining this time of year. And lots of, my ideal party is a little bit of everything. And that's kind of the concept that's really popular right now with appetizer kind of gatherings. Definitely. So you get bites of all kinds of yeah. things. And then, well, especially women love to eat this way. Men mm -hmm. want something a little bit more substantial. So you could have, uh, what I often do, we'll do um, a main course in a small version on a small plate. So you do like a duck confit shepherd's pie, or you do like a little paella. So then it's still a small plate, but they can go back for more. But we're, we're starting fabulous. here Let's with- keep um, going with an eggplant dip. This is, um, it's a season of lots of indulgence. So it's good to have a few things that are really flavorful, but that are maybe not quite so rich Just and really reasonable to make. Okay. So the eggplant is totally an underrated vegetable and it's fantastic base for all kinds of things because it's kind of neutral and picks up flavors depending on what you're putting with it. So what we've done, we've taken an eggplant here mm, and we've cut fabulous. it in half. Um, we've, after roasting it in the oven, for about an hour. And just chuck it in as a whole eggplant? Well, we're not using the inner, uh, not using the skin. We're just okay. using the inner part. You want to cook it until it's lovely and soft. We're just using the inner part. And we're going to do this in a food processor. And what we've got in here is um, tomato, garlic, cilantro, mm. a little bit of chili. That's going to give it some heat. And roasted red peppers. And we've done these already here, but you can do them on top of your stove and burn them on the outside so you get that black mm. coating of the skin because you you don't want that in here and then, and then you and you put it in a brown paper bag run it under cold water and that'll take all the skin off that's how you do it okay yes. so cold water brown paper bag yeah. and the skin just peels well, off even if you don't have a brown paper bag you can actually put it in a plastic bag and and just the ambience inside the bag will help remove the skin cold water get all the black bits off yeah. into the into the sink and we're adding some um, uh, roasted pumpkin okay. seeds mm. here and that gives a lovely nutty flavor into your food processor and just just until it's you know pureed up and it's got a lovely texture the color you get the red and the too. green yeah. and then we're going to serve it the 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 um technique and the ingredients that you use are three quarters and one quarter is the presentation. So make sure you leave enough time to do the presentation. That's where I fall short. I mean, we're such a rush, but it's such a big part of the it enjoyment. Is because isn't it? you you eat with your eyes first. Yes. And so we're going to have that with a salty date crisp. Mm. And along with that, we're going to do an individual hors d'oeuvre. And what we've got here is um, figs that we've cooked in red wine, Mission or Calamira mm. figs. And you can do this well in advance. They keep for ages in the fridge. So you can do a whole batch of them. And then we're wrapping them with a little bit of prosciutto. And in the center part, what you can do is add some kind of your favorite cheese. Today we're using camisola, which mm. is that lovely creamy blue cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're wrapping it around with the, the prosciutto. And a lovely fun presentation here on a salt bed with these little appetizer spoons. And that's one of the rages right now Those is the beautiful. presentation. Gain here, and this is something you can serve at room temperature, or you can stick it in the oven for a few minutes and just let the cheese just slightly just warm up and to. melt in your mouth. Figs are pretty easy to find right now they too. Are. You can find them in most of your grocery stores in the dried fruit section. Okay. And if you can't get that, you could use apricots as well. Those are so gorgeous. you can't leave a party without some sweet thing to finish. No. And what we're doing here today is a chocolate pot creme, which you've just melted. You want to make sure you get really great quality chocolate. And we're melting that with a little bit of um, cream, salt, and espresso. You can't fool the chocolate lovers if you skimp on the chocolate. No, you can't. No. No. And with this, once that's melted, we're going to add to this some egg yolks that you've whisked up with some brown sugar. That gives a lovely, rich kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. And don't let the sugar sit with the egg yolks because it starts to burn and get sort of crystallized. And then you're adding the two components together. Just 
the melted chocolate and cream. Not rich at all, this Ooh, one. Oh, wow. And the thing that's sort of fun about this, too, is you can serve it in any sort of container. We're, we're using um, a little kind of... Um, porcelain cup, but I'd also love to do this in um, a miniature espresso cup. Mm. And then and then you're just going to pour your mixture into your pan. And the key to this is that you're cooking it in a water bath. And so that helps the mixture with the egg yolks. You don't want to end up with chocolate scrambled eggs. So oh, you're going to okay. put that into your... Um, at a low heat? At, at a low heat and the temperature. It, it cooks for about 40 minutes in the oven. And then you're going to take it out and chill it. And you can do this a few days in advance. And then our present over here we're just um, whipping a little bit of heavy cream and then you can um, put chocolate covered coffee beans on top you can dust it with a little bit of cocoa you can add cinnamon sticks and uh, I mean it's just you know this is a fantastic this is quite a large you know taste <laughs> That's a here large helping. but, but now, you can do it in small portions as well am I serving that warm or cold you're serving that cold cold yeah. easy that makes it easy too because you does. can prep that before and you have a beverage you, for yes us. we have to have a beverage and I actually named this um, the Kelly's kiss uh -huh. and so what we're having today and I think that with entertaining the thing that's sort of fun is to make it more reasonable not go for a full bar make sure you have lots of non-alcoholic beverages cranberry juice pomegranate lots of mineral water and wine and beer and then some some fun thing. It just sort of signature sets drink, right? Signature drink. And this is the thing you want to pull out right at the beginning. It sets the tone of the party. And so the base of this is a sparkling wine. Oh, you're brave. And we're just going to fill up our champagne flutes with uh, three quarters of the way up with the uh, sparkling wine. And then we're going to top that with a little bit of lychee liqueur. This is one of my favorite new mm. combinations. And then we're going to add, it just to give us some nice color, we're going to add a little touch of pomegranate juice. So you get that lovely rosy color. That and, smells fabulous. And with this, you can garnish it with um, a, a lychee and um, a couple of uh, pomegranate seeds. That is cool. And so the color is fantastic. It's really festive. It gets everybody in the spirit. And you can do this at the beginning of the evening. Have a tray of these already set up for people, you know, to indulge right at the beginning. Mm. What do you think? <clears throat> Fabulous. Kelly's Kiss. Wow, and, and that's, um, yeah, you don't need a lot of it. I'm guessing there's a fair amount of booze in there. Well, just uh, to get people started and get people mm -hmm. in the spirit. Make sure I the music's it. going. Make sure the house is well decorated. And, um, you know, for entertaining, you don't um, have to go crazy. You can now, this time, uh, with the economy as it is, the idea of the potluck is really mm -hmm. the thing that's popular. I love that concept. Now, we'll have all these recipes on our website, but also your website as well. Leslie, thank you for bringing this in Thank this you morning. so much. Cheers Great to, to you. be. Happy Cheers holidays. to you. Same to you. We're going to take a break. Uh, the choir is ready. We've got more.